In a press release published on July 4, 2023, the Australian government announced that the AS-9 Huntsman was on the verge of completing its comprehensive testing in South Korea. The AS-9 is based on the South Korean self-propelled Howitzer K-9 Thunder. In December 2021, an agreement was officially inked between Hanwhat Defence Australia and the Commonwealth, detailing the provision of Huntsman AS-9 self-propelled artillery systems to the Australian Army. The deal, estimated to be worth between $900 million and $1.3 billion, is a component of the Land 8116 Phase 1 program and includes the procurement of 30 self-propelled artillery systems, along with 15 armoured ammunition resupply vehicles. Hanwat plans to manufacture the vehicles at a newly established facility in Greater Geelong, Victoria, Australia. The construction of this facility is slated to begin in the second quarter of 2022, with a projected timeline of about two years. The production of the AS-9 Huntsman self-propelled howitzers is expected to kick off in the last quarter of 2024. As part of its initial deployment, the Australian Army will soon receive two AS-9 Huntsman vehicles based on the South Korean K-9 Thunder model. Additionally, an armoured ammunition resupply vehicle, the AS-10, will be imported from South Korea. These initial acquisitions will pave the way for the establishment of a new facility, Hanwhat Defence Australia, currently under construction near Avalon in the state of Victoria. This facility will be responsible for producing the remaining 42 vehicles, with production expected to begin in Australia by the end of next year. The K-9 Thunder, upon which the AS-9 Huntsman is based, is a South Korean self-propelled howitzer developed by Samsung Techwin and now manufactured by Hanwhat Land Systems. The development program for this self-propelled howitzer has been ongoing since 1989. The primary armament of the K-9 Thunder consists of a 155mm of 52 caliber cannon with a maximum range of 40 km. A total of 48 projectiles and their associated charges are ready for use. Inside, an automatic loading system takes the projectiles from their storage position and places them on the supply tray, while the charges are loaded manually. The K-9 Thunder has a maximum firing rate of 6 rounds per minute and is capable of simultaneous multiple impact firing. It can fire 3 rounds in 15 seconds, each following a different trajectory. The sustained firing rate is 2 rounds per minute. After receiving a firing order, the K-9 Thunder can engage a target in under 30 seconds from its location and within 60 seconds while on the move. A 12.7mm heavy machine gun is mounted on the roof of the turret on the right side and at the front of the commander's cupola, serving as self-protection or anti-aircraft armament. The K-9 Thunder features a welded steel hull and turret with a maximum thickness of 19mm, providing protection against small arms fire and artillery shell fragments. This self-propelled howitzer is crewed by five individuals, including a commander, driver, gunner, loader, and assistant gunner. The driver is located at the front left of the hull, with the engine to the right. The turret with the artillery system is mounted at the rear of the hull, and the commander and gunner sit on the right side of the turret. There is a single door on the left side of the turret, and a large door at the rear of the hull, used by the crew to load ammunition. The K-9 Thunder's artillery system is powered by a German MTU MT-881 KA-500 diesel engine, developing 1,000 horsepower, coupled with an Allison X-1100-5A3 automatic transmission with four forward gears and two reverse gears. The transmission of the K-9 Thunder is a further development of the one installed on the M1 Abrams main battle tank. It can reach a maximum road speed of 67 km per hour with a maximum cruising range of 360 km. The AS-9 Huntsman is approaching the end of its testing phase in South Korea. Future tests will concentrate on system integration with tactical artillery data systems, and enhancing protection against small arms fire. If the project proceeds, Australia is preparing to strengthen its defense capabilities with this powerful and versatile self-propelled howitzer.